our gray tea. <laughs> oh, it's really good. It's uh, very scentful. It has tons of scent as soon as I sip it. Nice. Flavor spread. So good. Smashing. In regards to manners, how many mistakes did you notice in that first clip? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to World Eye. Today, let's learn how to behave at the English afternoon tea table. Afternoon tea. The most quintessential of English customs is now being adopted in many countries. In this video, we will share some tips on how to behave during English afternoon tea time. This will give you confidence so you can fully enjoy the custom of tea time wherever you go. Manners are not to be thought of as rules, but rather a self-presentation. The most important thing is the spirit of hospitality and kindness, to make people feel comfortable around you. And this is Mrs. Tucker. That is me. Sounds good to me. Afternoon tea and bubbles. I like that style. Oh. <laughs> Excellent choice. <laughs> Excellent choice. My first traditional English tea time. Very exciting. First, for all the gentlemen, you'll want to wait for all ladies to take their seat. If you pull the chair for a lady, you leave a very good impression. If you have a handbag, you may place it on the back of the seat. Social gatherings can sometimes stir the nerves, but let's do our best not to play with the dishware. Take your napkin and spread it across your knee. The napkin's crease goes towards you. Do not tuck it in your shirt. Put your hands on your knees. Keep your posture straight. It is nice if you already prepare before the meal or tea arrives. Wow, that's beautiful. It's a dragonfly. We are having lunch at the cupcakes and the bowls. Looks good. Portugal's Princess Catherine brought the custom of tea ceremonies to the court. It was not until the mid 19th century, however, that the concept of afternoon tea first appeared. Afternoon tea was introduced in England by Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, in the year 1840. The Duchess would become hungry around 4 o'clock in the afternoon and enjoy tea along with a snack to suppress her appetite while waiting for dinner. The evening meal in her household was served fashionably late, around 8 o'clock, thus leaving a long period of time between meals. Let's pretend, ready? Cheers! Cheers! It's pretty. Very pretty. It smells divine. You've got warm scones, scotty cream, jam, and then a selection of cupcakes, chocolate. This one is key lime pie. This one is sticky toffee. Nice. And it has a little bit of cashew on the top, just so you are aware. Really it's nice. nice. but okay, you. but just to let you right, know. Right, right. All right. And so we, enjoy. And, for and I'm tea, not going to pick a card. Do we get actual tea? Yes, yes, coffee? yes. You have tea or filter coffee. So whenever you'd like the tea, I can either do the tea now. I can do the tea a bit later. Tea now would be lovely. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Could we also purchase extra a bottle of sparkling water? Yeah, of course you can. Yep, I'll okay. get that for you. Yep, bottle of sparkling water. Do you know which tea you would like? Uh, I would like Earl Grey, please, with milk. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. And the bottle. Filter the tea with a tea strainer. Holding the teapot with one hand is correct. Once it's poured, we will add sugar. White sugar cubes are for tea, while brown sugar cubes are usually for coffee. One lump? Oh, I do! When mixing the tea, move the spoon back and forth, 6 to 12 o'clock, gently. It is said that this will press the sugar cubes against the wall of the cup to easily melt them. Rotating in a full circular mm -hmm. motion will not melt the sugar, and is considered rude. After that, add milk. When using a spoon, do your best not to make noise. The used spoon is then placed behind the cup. In earlier times, cups often cracked at high temperatures, and only the upper class could access the tea sets which cannot be affected by temperature. Thankfully, most of today's ceramics are durable enough to withstand high temperatures. 
If the table is far from you, like if you're on a sofa, lift the cup and the saucer together, and then lift the cup from the saucer to your mouth. If the table is close enough, you may simply lift the cup. For example, in this case, I'm going to have a cup like this. All the fingers are going to support the cup. Also, some people misunderstand, you know, lifting up pinky is good. This is not good. Actually, this gesture looks really interesting. It is also frowned upon to hook your fingers through the handle of a mug. So, hold your cup like this. If you have bigger fingers and are unable to do so, just curl your fingers into your palm. In Japan, for example, green tea cups are commonly held with both hands, but this is not a Japanese tea style, so refrain from doing so. It is deemed inappropriate to have your eyes wander while you're drinking. To be safe, have your eyes focused inside the cup. This is polite. Scoop the jam and cream onto your plate from the shared bowls. It is incorrect to place the topping directly on top of the scone. There is the concept of 3 o'clock sweets in Japan, but afternoon tea is at 4 o'clock in the United Kingdom. When you eat the scone, divide the scone in two by hand. No sawing motions are to be made with a knife. And take care not to tear the scone into pieces right at the start. Half of the scone, you apply jam and coated cream. Obviously, you don't have to eat any food or toppings you're not a fan of. Also, do not combine the halves after separating them. It would be disgraceful to eat the scones like a jelly sandwich. And do not dip. If you do not like something, that's fine. Any large foods should be broken into bite-sized pieces with your hands. Simply taking a bite out of it will leave a bite mark in your food and can be considered sloppy. Keep your posture straight and bring the food and tea to your mouth. Exceptions can be understood if enjoying soup or pasta. It's good, yeah? I like the lamb's accent. What flavor? Toffee. 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 Caramel. I see. Like a... Love it. Key lime pie. I do a lot. Mmm. It's investment. Really like nice. Oh, wow. It's sour in a really good way. If you need to be excused for a moment, lightly fold the napkin and place it on your chair. Putting it on the table is a sign that the meal is over. It is very kind to share your heartfelt appreciation to the host by not only saying thank you, but also admiring the dishware, tea selection, and food as well. We hope that you can make the most of this knowledge during your next tea time. Enjoy!